I'm David Johnson. I'm a senior preceptor at Harvard University, a member of the economics department faculty, and I am the head TF of the Principles of Economics course at Harvard, which is a full year course that enrolls roughly 700 students a semester. I would venture to say that probably the CSF work is more important than the work, than the work that I do teaching the Harvard course because <clears throat> it is on the ground training for people who have already experienced what it's like in that proverbial real world, especially dealing with environmental problems. When you come as an economist, the, the, the concept of cost and benefit is elemental to using economics as a policy tool in any, uh, in any venue. But when you deal with environmentalists, many of them believe that it is unethical, that it is amoral, that it is just a dirty pool to decide that we need to put some sort of value or cost to environmental services or environmental resources. It's almost as if you have lost the battle if you actually think that putting a valuation on, you know, I, I, I don't want to be disingenuous, you know, the spotted owl or air or water or the cotton top tamarind or any of those things is almost an admission that you don't care enough about the environment. I reject that and actually turn it on its head. The, the understanding or the, the assumption that these things need to be protected, whatever the cost, is probably, to the economist, the most ludicrous statement that you can make. The idea that I'm going to protect this service no matter whatever the cost, or no matter the cost, if that cost is 40% of a country's GDP, is that too high? And then the environmentalists always say, oh, well, I didn't mean that high. I was like, okay, you now have drunk the Kool-Aid. If it's not that high, you're advocating putting a price and a value and a cost on these services. So I, th I think you have to go into any dealings with environmentalists, especially those in mid-career, with an enormous degree of humility, with an understanding that they are looking at you with two extremely skeptical eyes. And so if you start, <laughs> <laughs> almost at that deficit, and I do believe that it is a true deficit, I have to basically bring them up to the point where I can prove to them how markets can be their friend, how economics can actually service and serve, more importantly, the ends that they're interested in achieving. It's, it's a challenge. I actually think it's a terrific challenge. I'm happy to deal with people who look at me with skeptical eyes, because that challenge to me is a challenge to show them how not only are they missing out, but they're missing out on something that can actually serve their purpose. For as long as I'm able to give comprehensible lectures on the principles of economics and environmental economics, I will be associated with CSF.